had the opportunity to hear from the Consul General from Israel this week. Yes, most certainly. It was a pleasure to welcome the Consul General of Israel and hear his words for the General Assembly. I stand with our allies in Israel in their continued fight against Hamas. Unfortunately, we did have an interruption in the upper gallery during that joint session, but those protesters were taken out of the upper chamber. You know, I continue to support Israel against their fight against those terrorists. Heard some of the first legislation on the floor this week. Fortunately or unfortunately, as it could depend on who you ask, I guess the joint resolution that would put IP reform on a ballot was not one of those heard on the floor this week. Yes, our Senate leadership had promised us that we would go to SGR 74, the initiative petition reform bill this week. It was actually third on the calendar. But when that bill came up, unfortunately, the bill sponsor laid that bill over. It's been a huge priority for me to get initiative petition reform passed in order to protect the Missouri Constitution. I'm not sure why the bill sponsor laid that bill over. If it was my bill, I definitely would not have laid that bill over. So now it sits on the informal calendar and could be brought up today, next week, a month from now, three months from now, or never. And that's very unfortunate. I was hopeful that we were going to have that discussion on initiative petition reform like leadership had promised this week. I'm ticking away on that as it were, especially depending on what ballot this, if it were to pass the legislature, would go on as well. That's right. Time is ticking. We want to get this passed. I said that the pro-abortion initiative petition signers have been collecting signatures, and that's what we're trying to prevent. I don't want abortion to be legalized in the state, and we have some out there that are trying to collect enough signatures to legalize abortion and get that on the ballot. We also have some anti-Second Amendment groups that are also trying to collect signatures to make an AR-15 illegal in the state or put a huge hefty tax on ammunition. We need to make it a little bit harder to put something in our Constitution, and that's why IP reform is so important to get passed this year.